And now, coming to the stage, he's entertained our troops in Iraq, and he's one of the finalists and the best comic in Texas. Please welcome your host, Donnie Johnson! Yes, yes, how y'all doing this evening? Y'all can do better than that, come on now. How y'all doing this evening? Y'all already went to church, got your blessings in, now you're gonna be heathens, it's all good. It's, you ain't gotta work tomorrow. This is cool. Let me give a special shout out to everybody that's driving around this evening with your gas tank on E. Let me give you a special <laughs> shout out. This shit is aggressive out here. You know gas aggressive when you put $10 in your tank and your gas light is still on. Like, serious? <laughs> still, you looking at the E, you eye level with it though. You ain't just looking, you eye level with it though. You want to see where it is on the E. This is crazy. You notice how when gas get high, people just talk to you different? Conversation just change. Notice how when gas get high, everything is way over there. <laughs> feel me? Remember when it used to be right over there? It's at 280, now it's way over there. You, know, you ask somebody for a ride somewhere, first thing they're gonna say is, way over there? <laughs> I'm like, yo, we going to the same place though, fam. Like, I'm just saying, I can't be having all that weight in my car, fucking up my MPGs and shit. <laughs> They disrespect your conversation. Just disrespect. I asked my sister if I could use her car real quick to run to the store. She was like, yeah, but you gotta put some gas in it. I'm like, who won't have a problem putting no gas in it when I reach for the key? She said some of the craziest stuff I done heard in the last nine years. My car takes Supreme. <laughs> Hold on, Supreme? We in a gas crisis and you talking Supreme? You drive a 92 Taurus? <laughs> I got a big ass oil leak in it, yo. Your driver's side door don't even open. I'm gonna put some regular gas in your regular ass car. Good point. Gas be crazy. They say it's supposed to get up to like $5. Y'all ready for that? Nope. Nah, they think about this. I can't wait for it to get to $5. When gas get to $5, my tank gonna stay full. Cause I ain't driving nowhere. <laughs> if it ain't life or death, you better walk it out. <laughs> All I'm saying, cause at five dollars, yo, you can blame anything on gas. Anything. How'd that get broke? Gas prices. <laughs> Why you ain't bringing me nothing back from Whataburger? Just them damn gas prices. <laughs> Why you ain't come home last night? The motherfucking gas prices. <laughs> You get caught cheating and blame it on the gas prices. She'll be mad at first till you explain it. She'll be hot. How you gonna cheat on me after all that I done done for you? I'll be like, them damn gas prices. Like, I'm sick of you blaming everything on gas prices. What the hell they got to do with you cheating on me? I'm like, cause you stay way over there, though. <laughs> Miss Coochie live right upstairs, though. You, you selfish, yo, this ain't gonna work. Session, bro. I just recently moved, I just recently moved up out the hood, right? Just recently moved up out the hood. But I moved right into another motherfucking hood. <laughs> like, I made the mistake of going to look for a place to stay during the daytime. Yeah. You gotta go at night, yo. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, cause like during the day everything is cool. Ain't no loose dogs running around. <laughs> ain't no cars, ain't no crackheads, ain't having a million man march outside the complex. The fountain's still working, shit, you know? You show up at night, it look like a totally different place. I get there at night, it's all kind of people just walking around in the streets. I'm like, damn, ain't that the lady that showed me the apartment? <laughs> she ain't got no shoes on, though, fam. <laughs> just saying, man. Just... I found out a way to find out what the neighborhood is like you moving into before you even move into it. This is what you do. Call the local pizza delivery place. Find out if they deliver to that neighborhood. That's how you find out what type of... I didn't realize I was living in the hood too. I tried to order a pizza from Domino's and they told me they don't deliver to my apartment complex after 4.30. <laughs> 4.30? 4.30? Like it ain't even dark. Pizza don't even get good till about 5. 
Like, sir, we don't deliver to Copper Cove Apartments after 4.30. I'm like, but you right across the street, bro. <laughs> He's like, sir, we don't deliver to Copper Cove Apartments after 4.30. I'm like, motherfucker, I can see you, bro. <laughs> He gonna get mad. Well, if you can see me, won't you come get the damn pizza? <laughs> okay. Shit, with all them niggas standing out there, see me. I'm not that hungry. No, I'm good. I'm good. I had a pepperoni today. Oh shit. I'm trying to die. It's wild. We got one security guard and one security gate. And don't either one of them bitches work. <laughs> Like, it ain't even a real security guard, though. It's just like an older Mexican lady who just standing out in front of our apartment complex with her tip cup. Say tips on it. She just be shaking and all she say is, sometime I see something. <laughs> and sometime I see nothing. <laughs> and I didn't know what that meant for the longest. I didn't even know what that meant. Like, until my neighbor got his crib broken into. And he came out, he was cussing around like, Rosa, you out here every day, I know you saw something. So Rosa got up off her little crate, start shaking her cup. Sometime I see something. <laughs> and sometime I see nothing. Shit, I saw that. I knew exactly what she meant. I wouldn't put $20 in her cup. I was like, look, I stay in 2005. If some shit go down, I'm gonna need you to see something. You know? <laughs> and she's like, I got you, Poppy. I ain't got you, Poppy. I got you. Right on, right on. I so appreciate it. Sure. So appreciate it. Good job, right? Crackheads all over the place. I can't believe these dudes are still around. Like seriously, like they still around though. Like they still hanging out. Like for real, you made it through all of that? Like you still? But like it's this new crackhead that got me confused though, this recession crackhead. Like they don't make crackheads like they used to. They used, you know, they used to do, these dudes now is arrogant. Like they confident. They talk to you like you got the problem. You know, like you've been missing for 10 years or something, you know? I'm over in my apartment and I'm shooting hoop. I'm at the little goal. I'm shooting hoop. I got my uh, Houston Rockets, Tracy McGrady jersey on. I'm just doing me, just doing my thing. School, a little complex crackhead gonna come lean up on the fence like he giving me information. Like, say dog, say dog, uh, uh, don't you know Tracy McGrady don't even play for the Rockets no more? <laughs> I'm thinking, like, wait a minute, I'm thinking two things. First of all, I'm thinking, look, I paid $75 for the jersey. <laughs> We in a recession. I'm gonna wear it till they trade them back to the Rockets. <laughs> Second, I'm thinking that's just like a crackhead to be worried about what's going on in somebody else's situation and not worried about his. Because if he wouldn't have been worried about his, he would have realized he had on a 94, 95 Vernon Maxwell Houston Rockets replica jersey <laughs> with the letters and numbers falling all off of it. It didn't even say Houston Rockets on it no more. It just said Hot Rocks across that bitch. <laughs> hot Rocks. That's your Facebook status? That's the one you're telling them, huh? Okay. Roll with that. Crazy, man. We got some beautiful ladies in the building. Give it up for these beautiful ladies in the building. Man. They're in here. Oh, my married couples. Married couples. Make some noise, married couples. Oh, that's happily married, too. Oh, we're on that. Yeah, the exhausting. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're the single folks. Single folks. Make some noise. Not too many single folks in here. Y'all just ain't. Hanging out, it's, it's rough, yeah, I feel you though, it's rich. Yeah. You together, you with something, you need to stay with that because it's rough right now, it's rough, I'm single. My girl, she left me, finally, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm waiting, what you waiting on? You thought I'm gonna change or something? Play it. You gotta get you something because now it ain't cool, like trying to date people, it ain't cool, it's a whole different, internet that messed it all up. The internet that made dating so impersonal, we don't even meet people no more. You know, all we meet is their avatar, you know what I'm saying? Like, we meet, we meet their profile and shit, we, who they want to be, that ain't them. You know? The aspiration, you force credit short of that, right? You, we don't get to meet people, we gotta get in there, we gotta get back to meeting people, getting out, asking questions, because you gotta ask different questions now when you're meeting people. You can't ask the same questions you used to ask in like, 05. You know, 04, you know, you, it's 2011, you gotta ask more relevant questions to what's going on now. When you meet a person, when you out, you gotta ask more relevant questions to what's going on now. Like, were you born a woman? You know what I'm saying? That, that kind of shit, it's something you wanna know, right, fam? You wanna know, you don't want no surprises with that, that ain't what? 
at the end of the evening, you get her home, you sitting on the bed, you think you finna do something, you holding your stuff, and then she come out the bathroom and she holding her stuff. Like, oh, look, these doctors in Houston is good. They can make shit disappear. Just reappear, you know what I'm saying? If you don't think they good, go over there on 59 and this and that. You'll see just how good they are. I'm telling you, they aggressive out here, though. Showing you stuff you don't want to see. You at the house, like, wait a minute, hold up. What is that right, right there that you got? Okay, what you finna do with that, though? I'm just, I ain't come here for no jousting, though. I'm just saying. Look, no, I'm just, where my bus pass? Because you playing. You bullshit. Really don't you know cockfighting is illegal in Texas? This is ridiculous. Oh, you gotta be, man, the dating is rough now, man. You with somebody, you gotta be with that person for the right reasons or it ain't gonna work. It's just what it is though, like that's, you gotta be with that. Don't, don't get with a person for material stuff like looks and finances and status, that's some bullshit. You gotta be compatible with that person. Y'all gotta be on the same line of thinking though. That's just what it is though. Like fellas, if you with a lady and she go to church, you need to go to church. Don't be sitting at home, because if you don't, you're gonna tear up the fabric of the relationship. She wake up Sunday morning like, baby, I'm gonna go to church, and you like, well, grab me a two-piece and a jalapeno pepper. Because <laughs> you thought she said churches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You done, messed, now you done messed it all up, though. You done messed the fabric, you, you can't do that. You gotta be compatible. Like, look, I'm single, but I know what I want in a female. I know what I want. Like, I love sports. So, she gonna have to love sports. I love comedy, so I'm gonna need you to laugh at my corny ass jokes. You know, like I just just laugh at. Them. Like if I say knock knock, all I need you to say is who's there. Like I don't need nothing else. Like go around to the side door. You know, come back later. I don't need nothing. Just, just who's there? Just that's all. That's all. I don't try to reroute me or nothing. Just like I know I'm a slim trim brother and everything. I'm a slim, but I love to eat. I do. I love to eat. So naturally, she gonna have to love to get ate because that's the type of dude. But I am, yo, I, what? Oh, and I'm good at it, too. I'm nice. I've been doing it for years, yo. I'm good. I got a third-degree black belt in Tung Fu, if you will. Like, I'm super serious. I was doing it when it wasn't socially accepted for brothers to do it. You know, like back in the Reagan administration. Like, I was doing it for chocolate milks and shit. You know? Serious. I'm nice. I'm nice at it. I got a gap. <laughs> for real, I, what? And look, one of my homeboys hit me to it. A long time he hit me to it. He was like, man, you should try it, dude, because it, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> and like, like, you know, he, he was a white dude, so I didn't know if he was trying to be racist or if he was trying to give me some information. But I'm here to tell y'all that it don't taste nothing like no damn chicken. That shit does not taste like no chicken. That shit, that shit is better than chicken, yo. That shit is delicious. Succulent. Pun intended. It tastes like watermelon flavored chicken, man. Yeah, this shit is good. And I'm nice, I got like signature moves. I got go-to moves and shit. Like, fellas, you can take this one home with you. Like, like I suck it and I lick it at the same time. Look how quiet it got. <laughs> what else, what else? I suck it and I lick it. 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 I suck it. Like I slug that shit. I slug that shit. I'm a mother slugger. I'm, I'm an auntie slugger, a sister slugger. I slug it. And some of y'all looking at me like, what the fuck is slugging? Y'all done all done it. You just don't know you done it. Y'all done all done it. You ever try eating some like top ramen noodles that's way too hot, but you eat it way too fast? You know. <laughs> Yeah, I already know. I already knew you got that. You got that look about you too. I know you were stuck. You got that beard too. Though. I know y'all have done it. You done been there. That's the silly. And look, I'm gonna tell you. If you do it right, if you do it right, fellas, like fantastic shit will happen. Like you might just wake up and it's a brand new Xbox on the table. Like yo, I don't know how that got there. Like what the fuck? What are you doing? And you, you know if you're doing it right, but she give you this right here. Though she give she give you that right there. The, the blue suede shoe that Elvis. That Elvis. You know what I'm saying? Like when you in there. She, she, she a jerk, you know, so, you, know you, you, you gotta be 
focus, I suggest you do some neck ups, right? I suggest you. <laughs> Get them right, because you probably ain't got no more sick days at work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm Donnie Johnson, man. I'll be your host this evening. Right on, right on.